Yes, Liam. What are we going to talk about today, car wise? Well, we're, we're in our we're we're totally business like today. I don't know how that happened. No, but, no. Um, well, I'm usually never business like, so. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to review kind of a family car, even though we're dressed as business guys today. Right. Yeah. Um, so the family car we're going to review is the uh, 2009 or I guess 2010 mm -hmm. Hyundai Santa Fe. Right, very popular car here in Korea, actually. But before we say anything about it, let's oh, we're start. Oh, we're going to start the time, okay, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Off we go then. Okay, there we go. Okay, so 2009 Hyundai Santa Fe SUV. I mean, very popular in Korea, as, as I've already Korea, said. Yes. Um, you know, big. It's, I guess it's deemed as a bit of a, almost a family vehicle here, isn't it? It is a total family vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, quite big. But it's a bit heavy on the old gas for Americans out there. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. uh, or petrol for the for the Thank Brits out there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. so what what does it do? What does it do, Carl? For okay. Well, the um, uh, in the city, it gets uh, seventeen miles per gallon in the city, which is, uh, um, I believe, I don't know what the conversion is for that. I'll have to figure out. But mm -hmm. but that's really really extra quite low actually for, for it a is. city. Yeah. That, that, that's heavy f fuel consumption, which is a. Uh, you know, something we have to think about nowadays, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. So I think anything in the 25 range in the city would be pretty mm -hmm. good, I think. Yeah. Pretty decent. I think so. I think right. so. And what, so what about room inside? Have you ever been in a Santa Fe car? Uh, you know, I haven't, but I've seen them a lot because being yeah. here in Korea, they're everywhere. Right. Um, and I have seen, they're actually, they, they look quite roomy inside. Apparently there's room for five people inside, so. Well, actually, I, I sat in one, not this particular one, but I sat in one about a year ago and it was very roomy. Oh, got to really? Go even even in the back, which really? is important for families, yeah. Oh, so there's a lot of storage space and room for people and, and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Wow, okay. I was quite impressed, actually. How was the ride? We didn't move. Oh, you didn't move? Very good. Wow, yeah. very nice. Great, good. You just yeah. sat there and... It was outside, you know, one of the department stores when they show the cars off. It was ah, like okay. Situation. How was the interior? Um, It wasn't flash, but it wasn't bad either. It was just a normal interior, you know, nothing flash. Okay. You know, you're not talking your walnut dash here. Okay, okay, okay. Walnut dash is in like being some sort of luxurious looking right. walnut trim or whatever. Exactly. Uh, here's a profile shot. Which mm -hmm. I mean, the, what do you think of the style, by the way? Um, it kind of just looks like every other SUV out there to me right now. Um, especially in Korea, you know, the companies, you can't really, there's not much difference between the look of the companies here. Sure, sure. It's true. I mean, you know, to be honest, the styling is what we call generic. Right, right. Absolutely. The word generic, meaning that it just seems like it's the same everywhere. It's yeah. very, very common looking. Okay, so um, so what do you think? Um, would you actually want to buy this thing? Well, in all honesty, um, for an SUV, yeah, I would probably consider it. Really? Even probably, with the poor gas mileage and the, even with the poor gas mileage, but presuming, you know, I, you know, I'm a successful guy and everything, you know, that's going to be that's not going to be a problem, is it? <laughs> That's true. If you can afford it, gas really doesn't matter how much it costs, yeah, does it? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what, do you, what, what rating do you give it then? Um, for an average SUV, nothing particularly special, but it does its job, I'd probably give it maybe 7 out of 10. A 7 out of 10 it now? It does its job. Okay, it does its job. Okay, well in this case, for me, I'm going to give it a lower score because I think there are other vehicles that are better out okay. there. I'm going to give this thing um, a 5. Mm -hmm. But I think it's worth pointing out, um, we talked about the interior, yes. it's worth pointing out that in... Um, you know, the specs and uh, the review that we found of it, it actually is stated that it's better than the interior of the Japanese SUVs. That's true. They did say that, actually. So that's something there. So if you do own one of these, sorry I gave it such a low rating, but mm -hmm. uh, if you do own one of these, just, you know, be thankful that you've got a better interior than your Japanese uh, competitors out there. <laughs> okay. Right. Anyway, so let's wrap that up. I think so. Yeah, so okay. not bad, really. Yeah, not bad, really. Not bad. Well, I, you know, give it a pretty low score, so. I suppose. But let us know what you think, like Carl said, if you drive one or if you're thinking of buying one. Yeah, let us know what you think and, uh, you know, uh, whatever. Just give us some feedback about this particular video and um, talk to you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now.